lots of dogs barking. Well, here it is. Came in a brown box. That's it. All right. All right. Now we're going to open up the box and uh, take care of it from there. All right. Here we go. Oh, well, okay, well, here's the box, as it just arrived a moment ago. Uh, it arrived here at 12.12 on the 23rd of July, 2008, the brand new iMac. And I'll put it on the table here so I can open it, and uh, we'll uh, see, what it's, see what it's like here. Let me just uh, cut the top of the box open here first. I haven't done one of these. You know, my friend uh, Ray Glasser up in uh, Cleveland, Ohio area, Mender, actually, and he, uh, we used to do this all the time when we used to be buying Betamaxes <laughs> at a rapid rate. We would always uh, open uh, these things uh, on camera. And uh, so I'm, I'm keeping the tradition and doing the same thing. So anyway, there we go. Ah, good. It's got a handle on the top of it like a big suitcase. I'm going to put this thing on the ground a little bit and just lift it out of the box. There we go. Ah. Whew. That's a, that's a heavy box. Alrighty, there's what the front of the box looks like with a kind of a side view of uh, the iMac. And you flip it around here on the other side and that shows you what the screen is going to look like which is really cool with all the different programs down along the bottom. We're going to explain this in several parts, uh, how the iMac works. And uh, the first thing we're going to do on this uh, particular tape, part one, is uh, we're going to put the memory. I've got an extra gigabyte of memory, and we're going to install it before I even turn on the machine. Okay, well, let's uh, open up the box and kind of see how they have things packed again. Uh, Apple always does such a, a great job on this. Okay, I've got something here in the top lid here that I'm, I'm sure is the keyboard. Uh, again, they have uh, <laughs> it says, designed by Apple of California. How about them? And uh, oh, I see, it's like a little slider thing and everything. It's in a very nice and this this even the cardboard is is nice and smooth. All right. And um, this is the uh, it's the Apple keyboard, which is that little, very slim aluminum keyboard. So we'll be we'll be taking that out in a minute. Everything is in the top of this, and uh, and everything, which makes it uh, really nice. There's this is it. There's a keyboard, the power cord, and the screen. The uh, I got the 20 inch model. So hey, you know, that's it. The box is empty. That's real easy. Okay, here here it is, and like my pre previous iMac, uh, I used, I know it's not very glamorous, but I used this as a cover, uh, and, and used it whenever I just, you know, when I wasn't using it, would put this foam thing back on it. Again, and they have uh, the same thing, and of course it reveals, ah, oh, there's another plastic over the screen here also to protect it, so that makes it very nice. Uh, this has got the glossy screen. There's a lot of controversy about it, but I don't, I don't see the problem. Oh, okay. And there's how it, uh, there's how it moves back and forth, so you get the right uh, viewing angle, <laughs> including looking right back at the camera. All righty. So let's uh, go about and uh, put the memory in it, which is uh, done here on the underside back uh, of the screen. For those of you that are planning on upgrading your Mac. All right, let's go on up here, click under Apple, all righty, and then About This Mac, all righty. You click on that first, and then this little screen will pop up, and as you can see right here on the bottom, it says right here that there's one gigabyte of memory in it, and that will tell you where you're going to start. After we put in the memory, then it should read a higher amount. In this case, it's going to read two gigabytes. What we're going to do is just going to lift this base hinge toe up like that, which allows us to get to where the bottom is and the memory. So we're going to take a Phillips screwdriver, and with just a very few turns here, I hope, the little memory cover comes off. And you can see that there are two slots in here. In this case, the one on the right is already full. 
And what we're going to need to do is uh, we have a memory chip here that I have already purchased. And this is the additional uh, one gigabyte of memory that uh, we're going to be putting into the bottom of this. Okay, alrighty, I've taken it out of the package and I believe the correct way is uh, putting it so that notch is to the left hand side. I got a little flashlight here. There's a little plastic little tab that comes out. Let me see here. And this, oh, there's a track here that it fits in. Okay, as you can maybe see there, there's a little track on each side where uh, where the memory slips in. Make sure that you've been grounded and everything. Just push that right in there like that. Okay, and now with the, uh, the tab in and everything, we can put the cover right back on again on the bottom of the iMac. Slips right on there. And take the screwdriver and give it a few turns. And it's all back on there. Okay. Now we're back up here. Let's click on the Apple. And it says about this software. Let's click on that. And we get the uh, OS X screen again. And if we look right down here on the bottom, there it is. Two gigabytes now. So it shows that the extra memory was correctly installed. And uh, now we're all set to go. And we know that we've got the two gigabytes inside. Uh, DVDs or, or whatever, but uh, that's kind of cool too. That's also in plastic at the moment. I don't know how much I'll use that, but uh, anyway. So they have some neat things which are tucked away uh, inside of the Mac box. Well, okay, here we are. I've got the, uh, the iMac plugged in, and uh, we're basically all set to go. Uh, the memory is fine, and of course we have iMovie 08. And we might even talk about uh, iMovie 6 and everything. But we're going to save that all for part 2. Everything's good. Everything's ready to go. This is a beautiful computer, believe me. Uh, I've had different iMacs. I had the G4 before that. And actually also had the, uh, the original digital video models. It was called iMac DV uh, back when I first uh, started this. And changing over from analog to digital and everything but this is one fine computer so in part two we're going to go over some of the programs very basically i'm not a big mac ex expert there's a lot of guys out there i know who are uh you know a lot more familiar with this than i am and uh, i've used os 10 so i'm okay we've got the latest version installed on here but i'll just give you kind of an oversight of uh, what uh the uh, system is like and, and uh, some of the reasons why I like the iMac so much. Those of you into digital video and photography, digital photography and everything, this is the one for you. So anyway, so we're all set to go and uh, stay tuned for part two. Give me a few days here because I'm going to have to learn some of the ins and outs here with this and, uh, and then uh, we'll, um, we'll take a closer look and I'll invite you along. So stay tuned for uh, my uh, iMac part two. And I think that you'll really enjoy it. This is Kerry Decker thanking you for your time this time. Until next time, we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.